we're going to do a tutorial on how to use the Squidbot's Zeus mod for Squad. I'm going to assume that you've already subscribed to the mods and their requirements on the workshop and that they're installed and that they're working and that you've been able to load the game and that you're now in your main menu. You've got two options here. You can play offline, you can play online, and I'll show you both. But first, you're going to press the tilde key, so that funny looking thing next to the number one on your keyboard. If you don't know what that is, go into your settings, go into controls, general, scroll down and you'll see console. That's going to be your button for it, okay? So what we're going to do is press that tilde key, admin, change, layer, it's all one word, space, Zeus, underscore, and then the map. You'll notice that if you type this in right, you'll get a suggestion. And if you type it in wrong, so let's say I type Anvil wrong, it won't give me that suggestion. So that's how you know you're doing it right. It doesn't matter if you use the correct capitalization, like if it has in that suggestion. You can see I did this all lowercase. But we're going to press enter and away we go. Let this load and do its thing. Super important to note here, this is your team one, this is your team two. So if I spawn in as US Army right now, I will be team one. If I spawn in as a Russian right now, I will be team two. Super important to keep that in mind as you start spawning bots, all right? I'm gonna load in just like normal. First thing you're going to see is this drop down menu where you can select what faction you want to be. So, despite what team you spawn in as, you can select whatever you want. All you need to remember is if you're team 1 or team 2, okay? Now, this is compatible with Middle East Escalation and the French mod. I don't know if it's compatible with Galactic Contention, although if it's up to date, there's no reason in my mind it shouldn't be. You'd have to test that for yourself. But something to note here is you can see I'm actually in game. Like, if you look at the top of my screen, you can see I'm looking at the ground, I'm looking at the sky. If you left click here, you'll actually send a round off into the yonder or into your buddy's face, like I've done many times. The way you can avoid that is you can press right click instead of left, and I'll show you that later. But I'm just going to click the first thing I see. I can select what I want. There's a back button in case you change your mind. And away we go. So, first thing you'll notice is. Why is my cursor here and why can't I move? Just press escape. You'll be fine. So in order to get into Zeus, press shift then P. That's the same key to get into admin cam in normal squad. And here we are. So this has the same exact controls as the admin cam in squad. And I'll put a link to that in the description for the server administration page where you can find all the controls for this. But I'll go over just the super basics. W, forward, a is left, D is right, S is backwards. Space bar, you're going to go up. Left control, you're going to go down. If you scroll your mouse wheel away from you, you're going to go faster. If you scroll your mouse wheel towards you, you're going to go slower. And your camera does have mo momentum. So if I hold space and I let go, I'll still float up a little bit. If I hold control and I go down, it has some momentum, so it takes some bit some getting used to, but it's not too bad. Let's talk about what's in the bottom right of your screen here. So we've got time, day night speed, changing kits, saves, team factions, plugins. Let's explain all that. Time is pretty self explanatory, you can change what time it is. So I can make it the middle of the night, I can make it morning, dusk, whatever I want it to be. I can change how fast time is going, so I can make it zero and no time is going by, or I can speed it up all the way if I so choose so players can change kits this is for you people who run ops and you want to do like one faction versus another and you don't want people to be able to change their kit in the middle of a firefight so you don't want them to be cheating basically so how I'm going to get out of Zeus here is press shift P so right now I'm going to keep this tick just so I can show you again press escape to get out of this on the top right of my screen, you'll see change kits as backspace. So I'm going to press that. And I can 
right click. See, I didn't shoot in the air that time. So at any one point in time, if I have that selected, I can just decide, hmm, I want to be a machine gunner. Boom, there we go. Now I'm a machine gunner. However, if I untick this and I go back, what you'll notice is now I press backspace, nothing happens. So I can't just phase myself into existence as another kit. So now we've got saves. I will explain this in a lot better detail when I get onto my server, but what you can do is you can save a scenario kind of like Arma with all the bots, all the deployables, all the spawners, everything that you want. You can give it a name, give it a description, save it either locally, or save it to your server. And you know, the way you load this is, you know, press load here and it'll load that save or you can delete it. I'm gonna gloss over this just for right now, but I'll explain this in more detail when I get onto my server because it'll make more sense. But just as a quick example, let's put down this guy and that guy. Let's go to saves. Let's call this test one description test. Save to local. Okay, so there's our test one. Let's get rid of these guys, right? So let's pretend we just loaded in. They're not there. I want to load my save that I just made. Test one, load. There's our two guys. And of course, you can do that with deployables. You can do it with spawners. You can do it with all the stuff we're going to talk about later. It'll save all your waypoints, so... All that is good to go. So here we have our Team 1 and Team 2 bot limit. That one's pretty self-explanatory. The reason there's not a Team 2 bot limit right now is because I don't have a Team 2 bot down. Which I'll put over here. So, put this guy down. What we're going to do is go to the left here. Spawn settings. I'm going to type in 2.0. Make this guy Team 2. I can change his uniform if he's compatible with that. So, like, the default squad facts, like the Canadians, the Russians. You can make them desert or woodland, and we'll show that later. I can make this guy attacking or defending, and I can change his state. But just just to show you the Team 2 bot limit, I'm going to put this guy down. And you can see he has a red outline now because he's an enemy to me because I'm on Team 1, technically. And you'll see in the top right, all everything that you spawn is going to be in this top right, and you can select it. But you can see in your bottom right now, a Team 2 bot limit has just appeared. That's how you change how many bots are spawned in at one time, or present at one time. And the minus one just means players, so if you've got five players on team one, and it'll say minus five. All right, team factions. This is how you select what factions you want your players to have access to. So if you want to play only rangers, you can do that. If you want to play only Australians, you can do that. If you want Team 2 to be only Afghan commandos, you can do that. I can X out of here. Pretty easy. Oh, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. You can select multiple. So if I want these three and these three, I can do that. You know, click them again to deselect. So it's not limited to just one. Here's your plugins. Everyone has admin cam. So on your server, you can make it so everyone has access to Zeus. You can also add, activate the night vision plugin. I honestly don't know what map Pexes is. I will ask Squitters and I will put it in the description. But I can select these, I can deselect them. And as you can see here, you ha you've got to restart your match or your server in order for this to take effect, all right? <clears throat> so let's talk about all the different hotkeys. And the bots and spawners, deployables, vehicles, we'll get to all that. So we already went over how to change this guy's team. So right now I spawned in as team 1. I'm going to go 1.0. Spawn this guy. And the way I just rotated him is I did scroll on my mouse wheel. If I want to place multiple, I hold down shift. If I want to raise this guy, press R, press F, I can lower him. By the way, all the controls for this are on your screen right now. And you'll see at the bottom of your screen... There will be all the hotkeys. So if you forget, just look down there. All right. But I can press shift and spawn multiple. I can rotate this guy. And what I did right there is I pressed the right mouse button to deselect. 
But you can see now, these two are friendly to me, they have a blue outline. Okay? I'll show you how I did that later. But real quick, let's go to a faction that's compatible with the biome thing. And this also applies for deployables and vehicles as well. So Russian ground forces, air assault, medic. Here's a desert. Oh, I guess that's not a medic, but that's okay. Here's a desert guy. Now I can make him a forest guy. Simple enough. Here I can change his state from attacking to defending. Here I can change his behavior. And we'll talk about the behavior when we talk about the waypoints. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to spawn in a rifleman here. So team one. Hold down shift to place multiple. I'm going to make this guy alert. I'm going to make the next guy on patrol. I'm going to make the next guy on sneak. And what you'll notice... The alert guy is standing up with his rifle pointed down range. The patrol guy has his gun at like a low ready position. And the sneak guy is crouching. So when I give these guys a move order, this guy is going to run to the point with his gun up. This guy is going to patrol, walking slowly like you would. And then this guy is going to crouch, walk, and sneak around. Alright, let's go over all the stuff on the bottom of your screen here. So select left mouse button, obviously. You know how to do that. Right click to deselect. Shift multiple. Shift multiple. Select multiple. I hold down sh left shift and I can select multiple. To toggle my mouse, press alt. See, my mouse went away. And now I can drag my camera around into without the mouse getting in the way. I press alt again. If you get this where your cursor is still on the screen, just press right click or left click and it'll free up your camera and mouse. Toggle the HUD, you press I as in India, so you can get rid of all this. Easy enough. Seven is going to be your outlines. So you can see that guy in the distance over here, he's red because he's enemy to me. Blue outlines are friendly. Something I'll mention real quick here is if I deselect this guy and I click him, you'll see which bot he is because it'll it'll click him on the uh, the right side of the screen here. So I can select this guy, this guy, this guy, that guy. But you're not going to be able to see it because there's no outline. So you can see that guy is highlighted green because I just selected him. That guy is selected because I just selected him. So teleport to mouse is going to be C as in Charlie. Pretty easy, right? I can teleport wherever my mouse is. Sphere select. That's the thing I did earlier where I did the little circle and I got rid of those guys. So I press E as an echo and I can make a radius with which I can select stuff. So if I don't want to individually select people, I can say I want to select all these dudes. Use my scroll wheel to select. I can select all those guys. You can also duplicate that. So you can see I can just duplicate that as much as I want. You can press delete to get rid of this guy. But I'm not going to do that because he's going to be an important example to me later. So let's just get put this guy down. Press delete. Away he goes. Spawn artillery is going to be end. So press end and bombs away. That was the wrong button. Now bombs away. Sorry about that. And if you're squitters... Playing up with squitters, you know what I mean. You know I love you, buddy. Alright. So, toggle performance debug is going to be page down. This one's super important. So, you'll see on the top right, we've got total number of bots, we've got local and server active bots, and we've got dormancy radius. Now, this dormancy radius is really going to determine the performance at which your server or your client is going to run. So I'm just going to read this here. This is the distance that the bots will be simulated up to on the server. Any bots within this radius of a player will be simulated. 
This won't necessarily be how far the bot renders on a player's screen. So it will basically cull any bot that's outside of this radius. So right now it's at 1,000. If I'm at 1,100 meters, it's going to cull that bot. So this is a, it's a server performance thing. That makes sense? So we've got our total number of bots here. We've got four. One, two, three, four. You can see that. So there's your performance debug. Honestly, having this on 500 or 600 is pretty good for performance in my experience. But there's your performance debug stuff. Right, so what we're going to do now is give these guys a group. And how we do that is we can press left control and then 1 through 6. So if I want these two to be group 1, I'm going to press left control. Click these guys. Alright, so I've selected these guys. I did that by holding down left shift. And I want to make these guys group 1. Okay? What I can do is do control 1. Deselect. If I press the number 1, it'll select only these two guys. If I want to make this guy group 2, for example. Control 2. Now he's group 2. So I can be like, I want to select these guys. Boom, press 1. Now I want to select the other guy, group 2. Okay? And you can do that 1 through 6. Alright, so let's get into move orders. <clears throat> Whoops, so the reason that happened is because I did control 1. But what we're going to do here, click, I give this guy a move order. Whoops, sorry about that. Give this guy a move order. We're going to press F, and away he goes. Right now he's on sneak, so he's trying to sneak up to a target. In order to give this guy a repeating move order, I'm going to press R. So what you're going to see here is the difference in behavior between these guys. So I'm going to press R and then R. What's going to happen is you're going to see these guys move between these two points. R and R again. So alert guy is running to each position. Patrol guy is patrolling to each position. And sneak guy is trying to sneak up to that waypoint. And you can see the guy that I did, give, did not give a repeat order to, he's just chilling because that's his only waypoint. Now he's chilling there. Our hotkey to teleport is going to be X. So instead of going up to the top left here and doing teleport, I can select X. If I want to duplicate this guy, the hotkey for that is Z as in Z. So here's Z as in Z. I can press Z and I can keep duplicating this guy. Alright, so let's talk about that thing on the top left again, just real quick. Camera go to, that's pretty simple. My camera will go to this guy, wherever I select. And this works for bots, this works for spawners, this works for anything. I can set, you know, his, again, his attack or defend mode, I can make him sneak, patrol, whatever, I can change his team, I can give him move orders, make it repeating move order. I can make it so that whenever he gets a new move order, it clears his list, so you can have like multiple waypoints, and like you can make it so once he gets to waypoint 3, he stops, for example. Teleport, that works just like it did normally, but you can do that with the hotkey, duplicate, again, you can do that with the hotkey, and destroy, delete, you already know what that means. Okay, so now let's talk about your spawners. Let's go over here. Bot spawners. And same controls as before. I can rotate, raise, lower this as much as I would like. What I can do here, again, camera go to, teleport, duplicate, all that stuff you can do with the, uh, the bots. I can change the spawn rate here. So if I change this to 5.0, a bot will spawn every 5 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There he is. Another thing I can do is change the amount of bots that spawn on this spawner. So if I if I let them keep spawning, you see my team one bot limit is 20, right? And my max bots sp count is 20 on this spawner. The bot limit, the, the limit of the amount of bots will spawn on just this spawner. So if I change this to like five, 
it'll only spawn five of them. And let me show you what that looks like. So real quick, let's change this to five. And what you'll notice is that it's only going to spawn five bots. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is really nice if you want to, like, have a spread out battle. So, like, I can put another one here. And have... Whoops. Five. And this is only going to spawn five of those bots. Another thing you can do from here is from the spawner, you can change what uniform they're wearing. If they're compatible with that, you can change the roles that can spawn in. So if you like really just don't want the machine gunner guy to spawn, you can deselect that. Another thing we can do is give bots a move order from their spawn. So instead of having to like select this guy and make only him move over there, what we can do is if I spawn another spawner here real quick, change this to five again, is I can give them a move order from their spawn. So when these guys spawn, they're gonna go to that order. And again, new order clears list, we already talked about that. And here's your repeating move order. Like we talked about earlier. So when these guys spawn in, what's gonna happen is they're gonna go to that marker there. Don't know what they're doing. Try this again. So I give these guys the move order. They'll spawn in. And move over there. I'll give it a second. There you go. So... And again, like we said earlier, we can give them a repeating move order. You can make it so, you know, any new move order clears their list of move orders. So I can make them go move here, and then move there, and then move over here. We already did that. So real quick, let's talk about all the deployables. Because this is where one of the main questions comes in. And it's, how do I spawn a hab? Well... Let's get to that, shall we? So what we're going to do is go to deployables, and you can spawn anything here. Mortars, ammo bags, ammo crates, habs, radios, hescos, dishkas. List goes on. You have to spawn the radio first if you're going to spawn a hab, okay? It just doesn't work any other way. Have to spawn the radio first. So, again, and under the spawn settings, this is where I can make this a Team 1 or Team 2 spawn. I can change the camo on it. I can do all that. So here's... And you'll see this popped up over here, too. Everything I'm spawning is going to be on this list. Go to HAB. Underscore 80. Boom. Just just for some aesthetics here. There's your, your snow HAB. And if we spawn in here real quick. There's your hab. And you know, of course, it takes a second for it to become active. As it normally would. So vehicles. Pretty self-explanatory. You can change the biomes and team of the vehicles just I don't know let's do a T72 now boom make that a foresty BMP and not a desert one but same same rules apply here you can change what team it is what camo all that Okay. So let's actually, let's go onto my server, but before we do that, let's say this real quick so I can show you that later. 
tutorial save to something. Save to local. And you'll see it down there. Okay. We've gone over the very basics for now. Let's go onto my server and I'll, sh I'll fully explain this saves thing that's going on. By the way, the easiest way to get out of this is if you press escape, this is going to be a nightmare to get out of. Just go out of Zeus to so shift P. And then go ahead and disconnect to avoid the headache. So the thing is with the saves, it'll save everything. It'll save your habs, radios, mortars, deployables, bots. It'll save everything that you put down. So you don't need to worry about that. Go ahead and load into here. Give this a second to do its thing, as always. Such is technology. So... Again, here's your team one, here's your team two. Just remember that. It's gonna say all your mods that loaded, if done correctly. All right, let's go back into Zeus. Let's, let's talk about this saves thing in detail now that we're actually in a server. So what we've got, I left this bot here from my previous attempt at doing this so saves what we can do you can see I have some server saves and some local saves here I can download these server saves so that I can play them locally and I can do that vice versa so if I want to just say I don't know upload this to my server I can do that and there there it is so now I can I can save an offline scenario and I can load it into my server so you remember earlier how I saved this to local here's my tutorial save here's the other one so if I want to upload this to my server the one that we just made boom there it is so you can do that or you can do it vice versa you can download this to local like I can download that to local and there it is Well, that's really all I got. Wait. That's not all I got. Let's load something real quick. So, on the server, boom. Load. And you can see it saved the day-night cycle. It saved this, the time. It saved, you know, these guys doing their thing. It saved this dude and the hab and the radio and all that. So, don't need to worry about that. All right, in the most Grand Thumb-esque moment of thinking I was going to end versus not, that's all I got for you. Peace.